years of playing cards have taught me all about bluffing. One, prepare your muscles. Don't flinch when the enemy holds a gun to your face. Pretend like it doesn't scare you. No, believe it doesn't scare you. Give yourself reasons not to be scared. Two, close your eyes without shutting your eyelids. By that I mean close the windows to your soul. Show nothing of yourself. Show no flaws. Show no weaknesses. Keep your eyes open for theirs. Three, misdirection. Lead them away from their comfort zone. Lead them right to yours, where they think they can conquer you, but they can't. Inside their play, your playing field, you know everything and they know nothing. Four, timing. Catch them off guard. Like a good predator, have patience. Attack at the right time when all circumstances are in your favor. Bam, you win. Congratulations, friend. But then again, it's just a game of cards. Play to win, not to hurt. Nothing personal, nothing taken to heart. Careful steps taken with tact. Simply taken to learn a little bit more about how luck and circumstance dance. A little bit more about how to cope with receiving the losing cards by creating an effective system of defense also known as the art of bluffing. The art of never leaking of panic. The art of trusting in what you can do with smart mind and cold heart. It is just a game of cards. When it ends, make sure to shake your muscles. Relax now, there's nothing to flinch about. No gun to your face. Make sure to open your eyes. Your soul may have gotten used to hiding in the dark, so open the windows. Make sure to lead people to where you are with open arms and your guard down. It must be lonely with all those walls around. Lastly, make sure to stop thinking about the patterns you are making. Stop watching your steps, checking the footprints you are leaving. Just walk. Run if you must, at your own pace, at your own rhythm. Dance around your own life, own it. I know that you don't want to play anymore, that it is exhausting to constantly think about making all the right moves and you are simply tired of being exhausted. Self-control is more of a shitty excuse to be a coward than it is an achievement now and you are hoping that the world is a less scary place than you believe. That deep down you want someone to outsmart you, win arguments with you on the topics of why you shouldn't give up on yourself and why not everyone is dressed in ulterior motives. I know all the playing must have been draining. But you can stop playing. After all, it is just a game of cards. And the art of bluffing, the art of never leaking of panic, the art of trusting in what you can do with a smart mind and a cold heart is not the art of life. That's all, thank you.